Hey what's up guys, it's that sets Modern Warfare here, Gamer to Advantage Chicken and welcome to another PC tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your desktop background on a school, work or college computer system which have their desktop background locked so that you cannot change it. Uh, first of all you will need to be an administrator to do this so before you click off uh, just um, remember that I do have two videos already this is part three and part one and part two are all about how to get administrator on your schoolwork or college computer uh, I've got two different methods of doing it so please watch those two videos they'll be in the description um, and they'll be at the end of this video as well so you can just check those out if you haven't already so that you know how to get administrator and once you have got administrator then you'll be able to follow these steps to unlocking the desktop background so that you can change it to what you want. So currently we've got a terribly boring desktop background on here and I want to change it to this um, it's kinda like a space type theme that I want to change it to and at the moment if I go to personalize you can see that this desktop background is greyed out and it will not allow me to change it it's stuck like that no matter what I try and change it to so in order to get around this problem and there's two uh, more common kind of ways that uh, system administrators use to lock the desktop background so yours may look a bit different um, this way as you can see it's greyed out the other way it will not be greyed out and it will look like it's changing but the the background will still stay the same uh, I'll show you how to get around both of these problems so the first problem where it's uh, greyed out like this you want to go to start and in the search bar you want to type in gpedit.msc and this will bring you to here let me just expand this a little bit so you want to go to user configuration then administrative templates and then you want to go down till you find uh, control panel and then personalization and you should see prevent changing desktop back background and your system administrators may have other things enabled as well um, like the visual style for windows and buttons they might have that in, uh, enabled so you can't change that as well so they might have a few of these enabled so what I would do is change them all to not configured like this desktop background one and then apply OK now that it's not configured uh, we just need to go back to personalization again and now you can see it is unlocked but if I try and change it it looks like it's changed down here it's showing that it's changed to that background but as you can see it's still on this background and again try and change it to something else still the same background so when this happens it means what the system administrators have done is they've added some registry keys to prevent the background from being changed so it's always stuck to this background all the time so what you want to do here is go to the registry editor by typing in reg edit uh, one word into the search bar and it'll take you to here now I've already located it is computer H key current user software Microsoft Windows current version policies and then system so as you can see there H key current user then you go down until you find software and then in software you go down to Microsoft then down to Windows expand that one then current version you expand that one and then you go down to policies and you should find a system folder in here and this is where it contains all your um, your desktop background and the style like whether it's center justified or left aligned or whatever uh, it's all in here wallpaper style is like centered or left aligned and it'll be a number like two for centered or something and one for I think two is widescreen or full screen and zero is centered um, I'm not sure what one is but you can just remove that one so there's two ways to edit your desktop background this way you can edit this wallpaper entry to the background that you want um, which will lock it at the background that you want so it cannot be changed it will always stay the background that you want it to be um, or you can delete the entire system folder so you have full access to changing the background to whatever you want um, but 
sometimes when you log back on they might re-enter that registry key automatically and set it back to the old background so I'll show you the two ways of editing this so first of all if you go to the desktop background that you want hold down the shift key on your keyboard and right click on it and then click on copy as path that option will only be there when you hold down shift when you right click so copy as path and then head over back to the registry and right click on the wallpaper and click modify then remove what was currently in there and paste in the path that you copied also remove the quotations and now click OK so it's now changed to the theme that I want but as you can see here um, it's still not changed that is because it kinda needs to be refreshed you need to restart your explorer.exe so you can log off and log back on or it's probably quicker to go to the task manager by control alt delete go to the process list and scroll down until you find explorer.exe end process all your desktop icons in your taskbar will disappear then go to file new task type in explorer.exe and click OK and it will open the explorer again your taskbar will all be back and it will change the background to what you entered in the registry key and it is now locked at this background I cannot change it to Windows 7 just like it was locked before but this time it's locked to the background that I want it to be locked to so if I try and change it back to say the boring background again set as desktop background it's not gonna work it's always gonna stay on this one so like I said the other way to do it where you have more freedom but it might um, change it back afterwards uh, is to delete the entire system folder and by deleting that entire system folder you should now have full access to change your background to whatever you want you can change it back to the Windows 7 one it works fine um, this works fine back to Windows 7 and the right click and set as desktop background now works as well so that's how you do it that's how you change your desktop background to whatever you want on a school college or work computer system um, so yeah that's how you do it and um, basically if you want more PC tutorials like this then please request them because this was going to be my last one um, it was only just a little three-part series that I was doing but if you guys are if you want me to make more on a, or a certain tutorial on something then just leave a request in the comments or PM me on YouTube and I'll uh, hopefully make a tutorial on that for you guys and um, of course leave any leave a comment if you've got any questions and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because I've got lots of tutorials and stuff on my channel and like the video if you liked it I'll see you guys in my next video this is really how we live